Hello my dear students welcome to this anti histamic series and today in part 5 we are seeing second and third generation h1 receptor antagonist so in the last lecture i told you that this h1 anti histamics they are classified in first generation second generation and third generation drugs we already seen that uh, first generation drugs and and one of the major problem with first generation drug is that drowsiness or sedation i can say that and hence second generation drugs were discovered uh, i can say that second generation drugs they are less irritating one okay and uh, later and uh, uh, i also uh, discussed within the last lecture that second generation drugs they exist in racemic form that is a mixture of dextro and levo okay later people what they did they isolate uh, only one form which is responsible for the activity so if i'm saying that second generation drug uh, example of second gen generation drug is cetirizine okay so cetirizine it may exist into the two form uh, it may exist into the racemic mixture form that is dextro and levo and third generation contains only one form so they further isolated the levo form from the racemic mixture and third generation is nothing but the same drug as like that of the second generation only they exist into the uh, isom uh, 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 single isomeric form like a dextro or levo example is a levocetirizine okay so today we are seeing the second and third generation drugs so example of uh, second generation drugs are this is quite difficult to remember the structure and uh, there is no relationship between the name and structure and specifically in your syllabus they have mentioned that a special focus should be given to the second generation drugs so here uh, uh, these are three example this is first cetirizine this is loratadine and this is fexofenadine and uh, you can see that uh, uh, cetirizine it contains uh, this asymmetric carbon atom okay and in case of fexofenadine uh, fexofenadine this is asymmetric carbon atom so in third generation what they did okay and because of this asymmetric carbon atom it exists into the racemic form that is dextro and levo okay and in third now i don't want to change the uh, now uh, i have changed the title that is third generation in third generation okay by mistakenly i have mentioned loratadine in over here in third generation there will be uh, levocetirizine okay that means levo form of cetirizine and structure rem will remain same and here it will be the uh, i don't know the which form of fexofenadine is there in third generation we we'll just check it i think that it's a uh, of uh, it is a, it is also a levo form levo fexofenadine okay so these are uh, the structure of fexofenadine and cetirizine it will remain same in third generation only it will be the levo form okay and the uh, structure of third generation they are very similar to the same like that of the second generation okay i hope that you understood the class this, this classification thank you for listening this lecture and i hope that you understood this chapter